you know what do we mean by a matrix a matrix is simply speaking a rectangular array of numbers a b c d e f or if it is a matrix b we will say 1 2 5 8 like that these are simply the the ways of expressing certain quantities there are we call it them as matrices how many uh, how many what are the kinds of matrices there are so many rectangular matrix like this a square matrix a diagonal matrix a symmetric matrix a zero matrix a scalar matrix like that zero matrix like that identity matrix so many are there i you can actually you have already studied in your eighth standard therefore i don't want to uh, reintroduce the same thing to you now you are expected to study the addition of two matrices one how to add two matrices and when can you add two matrices it is addition of matrices the heading is only the addition of two matrices two or three matrices is possible when it is possible only when they are of the same order when they are of the same order for example you have to add 1 2 5 3 plus this is another matrix 5 6 7 1 1 or let us say 0 then what will be the resultant matrix you simply add the numbers in the corresponding places 1 plus 5 is 6 2 plus 6 is 8 5 plus minus 7 is minus 2 minus 3 plus 0 is minus 3 this is called a sum matrix if it is a and if it is b then it is sum matrix matrix sum is only that is a plus t a similar procedure is to be adopted to find the difference of two matrices even to find the subtraction of even to find the, the resultant in the subtraction of two matrices you have to you must see first that they are in the same order therefore it is very simple then second one second one is multiplying by a scalar multiplying by a scalar to a matrix it is same thing for example if a is equal to 0 minus 1 2 3 then 2a is equal to 2 into a is 2 into 0 2 into minus 1 and 2 into 2 and 2 into 3 result and you are going to get 2 that is 0 minus 2 4 and 6 this is nothing but 2a is it clear to you only this much you have to multiply every number every element in the matrix by the scalar that is to, by which we have to multiply subtract addition and subtraction are same same type of operations and multiplication different but now the most important thing here is that how to multiply a matrix by another one multiplication of two matrices look at this one a is a matrix of m by n order b is a matrix of n by order n in by p then a m into n b n into p would result in a matrix c what is its order what is here n and n the number of columns in a are the same as number of rows in b therefore resulting matrix is of the order m by p this means that in order that you know that i need not explain it in order that two matrix are can, can be multiplied is that the number of columns of the first matrix is the say is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix but now how to find there is a common rule it is very simple for example look at this one a has i will write this. a into b is equal to 1 or a b c d and b is 
P cube R E S. How to multiply? If you study this, then there is no problem. If you study this one, <coughs> the rule is very simple. Rule is very simple. Multiply by the columns of A to the rows of B. <coughs> I will write like this. How do you write? Like? How do you? How the product is being found out? You have to multiply by A and C to P and Q. That is A into P and C into Q. You have to add. Similarly, A into Q and C into S yes, add. Then <coughs> B into D and P into Q. B P, B P and B Q plus B P, B P. And B, the, um, and, uh, the elements of the second row, elements of the second column into the first one. B P into D Q, and lastly B multiply B and D by R and S. That is B R and D S. We have to add them. This is the method of finding the product of two matrices. Well, my dear students, now we are going to uh, review uh, another new topic that we call as permutations and combination. You know, I need not explain to you what do you mean by permutations, combination. Permutations is means just making how many kinds of arrangements can be made. Even if the same numbers or arrangement is made, but every situation is changing, effect is changing. Combination is the name itself says the combination grouping. That's all. How we are going to calculate? You know that permutations is for permutation. It is simply n either it is n p r or n p n. n p r can be found out with this formula. You know that it is there are two formulas n factorial by n minus r factorial. n p n is always equal to n factorial please remember n p n means n factorial is 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 2 3 into 2 into 1 5 factorial means 5 into 3 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 similarly it is this one you know what do you mean by factorials i need not explain to you and the combinations means n c r means n p r divided by r factorial i will just give you on one example afterward and then n c n need not calculate it is always one every time they ask for example 1000 c 1000 means how much don't calculate it is simply it is equal to 1 if it is 1000 p 1 1000 1000 p 1000 they will never ask so you don't worry about that and then uh, one more thing that you should remember here is among the npr and ncr one formula is very important n c r is same as n c n minus r this is a very important formula that all of you should remember for example how you are going to find out instead of 100 C ninety eight. What is this? You can't find that value. Hundred P ninety eight divided by ninety eight factorial. It runs to the whole page. So you don't do that. Instead, we will write like this. This is same as hundred C hundred minus ninety eight means hundred C two means hundred P two by two factorial. How simple is it? 100 into 99 by 2 into 1. That is 50 into 99. You can find it. 4950. It is easy. This is one of the thing that you should always find. Whenever n is a large number, whenever n is a large number and r is very near to n, then you have to adopt this method. That is this formula. N C r is equal to N C n minus r. whenever you are require something is given with the terms of letters 
or numbers it is always permutation whenever a groups are done whenever you require to do some groups then it is combination please remember that don't confuse for combination and permutation whenever you are given some numbers and form digits to form numbers we should always find permutation and then if there are groups for example there are 10 people you have to form group of 3 then it is actually called combination the formula is very simple you should know npr can be found out with this npn and last one is 100p 0 is equal to 1 100p 100c 0 is also is equal to 1 please remember 100p 0 is equal to 1 100c 0 is also is equal to 1 well that much is over now we will go to algebra the part 2 that is art algebra you should know one the factors there are formulas factors you should know how to factorize the expression factorize and factorization factorization you have to know next comes cyclic expressions cyclic expressions cyclic expressions you know for example sigma a b c of a minus b how do you express it you know you have to this uh, symbol gives you what type of numbers are there what type of expression should be there that is a minus b expression b minus c and c minus a all of them should be added to get the result get the end then you know that this is equal to 0 these are called cyclic expressions hope it is clear and then 3 is identities identities there are 13 to 14 identities are there you should remember them and apply the uh, property of the identities so, so to solve different problems at the end I will solve one problem with reference to the identities at the end ok only this much and next is a in algebra in algebra we are going to study most important thing is quadratic equations quadratic equations for example these are quadratic equations a x square is equal to m this is a pure quadratic equation and x square a square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 is a is uh, this is called adfected quadratic equation how to solve you know how to solve how to solve the answer is 1 by <coughs> factorization and second by formula you know formula what is the formula to find the roots of the equation to solve or solve means to find the roots root santartha what is the formula do you remember x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a when ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 is the quadratic equation look at this children the formula by formula what is the formula the root this is the value of x is called the root value of the x is called the root of the equation roots of the equation minus b plus or minus 
square root of b square minus 4ac by 2a will give you two roots of the equation where equation is of the form a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 it is very necessary that you should do it and another thing you should remember is that is by graphical method graphical method this is y is equal to a x square x dash a x o and then y o y dash and here is this straight line this is b x plus c b x plus c is equal to 0 then this is x 1 is a root x 2 is a root x 1 x 2 are the roots of the equation please see this where this this graph parabola and the straight line cuts each other draw perpendiculars to the x axis then you will get this is the value of x 1 this is x 2 by graphical method x 1 x 2 are roots of the equation then along with this children you should remember fourth one that is 1 2 3 and fourth is sum of the roots sum of the roots and product of the roots product of the roots sum of the roots m plus n is equal to minus b by a and product of the roots is equal to c by a and fifth the last one among this in quadratic equations the last thing you should remember is whenever the roots are given whenever the roots are given how to find the equations if the equations are if the equations are p and q the equation is is of the form is of the form look at this x square minus p plus q into x plus p q is equal to 0 look at this children this is very important you have not been given the equation instead you have got the roots if the roots are there what is the equation of which these are the roots if the equation uh, equation has if the equations have p and q as one minute i have changed if the roots of the equation roots of the of the equation are r p and q then the equation is of the form x square minus p plus q x p q if it is m plus n m and n same thing m plus n and m n that we have to write all these things therefore in quadratic equation there are so many things to be studied remember one how these quadratic equations can be solved by factorization by formula by graphical method and sum of the roots when the roots are given how to find the equation these things are you have to study